Ed, Sam here. One trap rearmed. Got the second one. Three left. Third trap armed. Two left. Just one trap left now. Ed, it's Sam again. So gotovo. All traps rearmed. Spasiva, Sam. You're a savior. Pajarista, Ed. Dump beast! The fucker that killed Kors! You're going to pay for killing our pal, you bitch! Come and get it! I wonder if anyone's coming to avenge these jokers. Hey, what the fuck? I'll just keep my head down for now. <laughs> Here, you fucker! fucker! Catch a bullet, you motherfucker! The fuckers got Fuck. him! They got him!
clear. No bandits here. Should we move on? Not so fast. I have a topic to discuss, and this place seems to fit the bill. No extra ears around. Ha! I feel trouble a brewing. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Nothing wrong. The boys and I took a good look at you. You are smart, level-headed. We need people like you. Still, you're new here, and you don't know much. So we decided to talk to you. Just give you something to think about at leisure. I'm fine with thinking. So what do you got? Look, there is cat. What? How did you? Who the hell are you? Name's Sam. I'm working for Tom. Ah, I know you. I saw you there. So, you are second American, huh? Ah, I heard you were supposed to be around. Well, come here. We'll show you what's what. We aren't called scouts for nothing after all. So, first of all, beware of the bat wing roaming about. We haven't seen it, just heard it. And judging by its shouts, it's huge and angry as hell. And probably it's wounded. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Next, where did you need to go? To the fire depot. You can see it from here. The red building with a tower. It's about half a click from here as the crow flies. Right. But you don't look like a crow. It's close. But it's gonna be hard to get there. <laughs> yeah, crows have it easy in these parts. Look, that unfinished building from before the war. You need to go through it. That's the only way to the upper bog where the fire depot is right now. There's a gang that set up shop there, though. They used to do some slave trade. But lately they switched to the latest thing and started catching those human-like mutants. Can you imagine that? We've been at odds with them since forever. And anyway, they never liked strangers. They're sure to open fire as soon as they see you. Don't expect the warning. So, try to remain unseen. Thank you. I will. What else have we got here? Ah, here. Look this way now. See that two-storied tower-like building on that islet? It used to be a police post before the war. Now it's taken over by a gang, too. Complete mad lads. Though they're busy catching the fuglies now, like the others. That business is on the rise over here, you know? What they have there is a warehouse of sorts. So there should be some good loot there. Huh. That little islet supposedly houses a cache of sorts. A few years back, a new gang appeared in this town. Those were some crazy bastards, but they were good. They went and demanded tributes from gangs thrice their numbers, and murdered everyone who didn't pay up. They had training, spitznats like They also had gear, like in the movies, armor, guns. Each of them had night vision, too. <laughs> they had a good run, ended up controlling a huge swath of the ruins, even with their numbers. Then the other gangs decided they had enough, got together and smashed them completely. So all that remains of them today are their caches marked by their sign. A skull wearing night vision goggles. So watch out for those. Why? I bet all those places were looted long ago. I wouldn't be so sure. Those guys were real show-offs. Each of their caches is like a puzzle box. The chosen ones in the know are supposed to get it. While random Joes like us are not. Huh. The boys did find hidden buttons opening doors a couple of times. But all through sheer luck, they never got the principle. Perhaps you'll get it, after looking at the situation with your unbiased American eye. <laughs> I might. You forgot the Fuglies. Ah, yes. Watch out on that islet with the cash. The Fuglies are especially large and tough there. I've no idea why, and I don't care. But these large ones are in demand, so the hunters don't clear them out. They just catch a couple from time to time and leave the rest to repopulate. Got it. So that's about it. We've been told to observe and render assistance if needed. We told you what we know. That should count. Thanks, guys. Good luck. See ya! Brothers should. We were doing good. 
because we stood for each other. All we had to do was continue doing so, nothing else. I just don't... Who are you? Did he send you? He, my so-called brother. He couldn't get me to give up, so he sends a hitman. I'm no hitman. You, you're not? Well, sorry for jumping to conclusion. It's my brother's fault. I wouldn't put it past him. It's because of him I'm hiding in this dump, eating overgrown lice. Oh, shut up, you damn beast! Can't wait to be roasted! Shut up! Piece of shit! Just like that brother of mine. He wants to take my car dealership. Well, my share in it. Car dealership? The Kovshinov brothers. Right to drive. What? Haven't you heard of it? You must be new in town. Everybody knows us. We deal in used cars from Japan. Quality ones. We started from scratch, against all odds. But once we get the business going, that bastard decided to fuck me over. I arrived at the office one day, and there's a new guard. And he won't let me in. He took all I had. Some brother he is. Angela, our accountant, was right. I should never have trusted him. Never! He brought it all down. Destroyed it all. Um... But the war... Ah, who cares? My brother fucked me over. Don't you see? <laughs> but I have a plan. You need to get inside our dealership. Get the incorporation documents from the safe box and bring them to me. Then I'll have proof. I'm not going to let him die a beggar, of course. He's a brother, after all. I'm not like him. But I will pull his poison teeth out. I will! Will you help me? You just need to get that bastard, my brother, to spill his half of the code. We only knew half each to show it was our joint effort. We were stupid. I was stupid. Only Angela knew the whole code. Get his half of the code. Open the safe box and bring me the documents. You will do it, won't you? Look, my half of the code is this. One, two... Three, four. Huh. What? Ah, no matter. Go, go now. I will wait for you here. Oh, we'll show that bastard. We'll show him. Now you'll see. Oh, now you'll see. You will. <laughs> around.
Are you talking to me? So, duh, I'm telling you that my brother is totally cuckoo. He thinks I want to take over his share of our business. We own the car dealership, right to drive. Used Nipponese cars, best quality. We built a booming business from scratch and then pff, he went mad. We even shared one code to our safe box. He knows half, I know half. We used to be proud of that. Sure, our accountant Angela knew both halves. Otherwise, we'd both always have to stay at office. But we trusted each other. Do you understand? And then the asshole kicked me out and took my half of the business, reducing me to eating these rats. Shut the fuck up. Not only that, he also went off his rocker. Says it's me who's taken over, not him. Can you believe that? I want to bring him back to his senses. I want someone to find out his half of the code, sneak into the dealership, take the papers from the safe box and bring them to me. So that I could show him who's listed as the owner there and prove it was him who kicked me out, not the other way around. Maybe that could bring his sanity back. Listen, it's very complicated. Listen. My half of code is... One... Two... Three... Four. You guys are something. Just learn his half of the code and get me those papers from the safe box. I'll make it worth your while. Now we'll see. Yes. We'll see. This ain't opening. We'll see who's really insane. He'll just have to admit it. Open sesame. Ah. Here are the documents the brothers asked for. Now we'll see. 
Oh, they must be fixed already, just like you wanted. Now, read what's written there, and don't try to fool me. All right, all right, uh, aha! You see? Sole proprietor! Wait a minute. But why? Tukina Angela Ivanovna? Tim! So it was Angela who kicked us both out. That snake! That bitch! How could she? To think I hated my brother because of her! Brother! Brother! Forgive me, brother! You forgive me? How could I treat you like that? I was no better. I believe that! I should have known. I should have! She told me lies about you. I should have known! It's all in the past. Now it's going to be all right. We will rebuild! Um, oh, we'll bring <laughs> it all back, brother! From scratch, like back then! I guess brother, I'll be going. I have a brother again! <laughs> <laughs> Me too! Like I always had! To think I doubted you. I'm sorry! <laughs> no matter, everything will be just fine. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we'll go back to importing cars from Japan. <laughs> Best quality. Oh, brother! <laughs> brother! <laughs>